today we're going to be talking about SEO. We're going to be walking through the very basic beginning steps and then I'm going to be teaching you what I've learned through years and years and years of SEO work. So SEO is search engine optimization and a lot, a lot of people are on this right now. We're all trying to win the marathon, but the thing is, this is like a marathon that doesn't end. It's just constantly about staying afloat in the SEO um, realm and in, in the internet, really. So I have my website here. My website is pink. My website is branded. My website is nice. But how will I gain traffic? How will I get all of those people finding my website if not through Instagram or paid adverts? Well, through an organic search. So an organic search is a way more affordable because it's free option for people that need to drive traffic to their website authentically, attracting the right kinds of people. So how do we have good SEO? Well, Wix is very handy because we have this section here. So this section is, I'm just going to close this a little bit smaller. This section here is the SEO setup checklist. So this is excellent for doing your website all on the back end. So you don't have to do any blog post work, well you should, but you don't have to right now. It's got steps to help you and they're automated by a special algorithm that calculates how well your website's doing, how high you rank in SEO checklist. So let's head over to the first step. So what you need to do is you need to get your home page ready for Google search. So all of the text that appears on your home page, all of the writing, all of the words that you use, they need to be cleverly thought up. You can't just spit out a bunch of words and expect it to work. What you need to do is you need to make sure your home page, the text in your home page, is written to actually rank highly in SEO. So on my website, I've got lots of keywords. I've got courses, I've got resources, I've got coaching, I've got services, I've got clarified, I've got business, coaching, resolution, comfort, downloadable, affordable, grand, applicable, company, great value, and a whole bunch of other words that just scream high ranking SEO. You know, you want these words. And you can also Google um, SEO words, keywords generator, and it will give you words related to your niche that help your website to be found. So the first step that you're going to do is you're going to get your homepage ready for Google search. You're going to include lots and lots of keywords that relate to your industry. The second step is to optimize your site's individual pages to your search engines. So Google is our main search engine. We've got Bing, we've got Yahoo Answers. I don't know if that's still a thing, but we've got all these search engines full of code, full of information. So what is the next step? Well, the next step is to optimize all your individual pages, the titles, the backlinks, everything related to that page. Every page on your website has to be optimized because say someone wants to find out something about a creative director, they're gonna search more words to do with about rather than resources. But if you want resources from a creative director, you could search more resource related words. So it's so annoyingly difficult for people to grasp this concept because it's really tricky to understand because we've kind of made up our own rules with computers. It's not like with math, math has a base but we don't really have any rules for the internet so we need to we need to actually just memorize all these things by ourselves so you're gonna edit all of the alt text on your images on your home page so they rank in google so you know when you type up google images that's where the images come from they come from websites they don't just appear in google images um so you're going to add contact details to your home page you're going to connect your social networks to your home page and you're going to add links to your home page so that's clickable links to other places. Then you're going to set the about pages title for your search results. Um, you're going to set all of the titles on all of your pages for search results. So you're also going to make sure that every single page has a meta description and that is a description that is more on the back end. It's like inside text, inside information that the search engine will use to draw accurate people to your 
to your offering or to your website. So the metadata and the meta description are often things that you don't necessarily see. So like alt text, when a blind person um, comes across that text, they will be able to access the alt text via their speaker program that they're using and that will read out the alt text, but the alt text isn't necessarily visible unless you search for it. A caption or a description is different. On the other hand, it's like optimized for quick reading, informative, and it's there on the surface level. So we're gonna add um, lots of keywords to our about page and our other pages. We're gonna add contact details to our about page, uh, connect social networks to your about page and add links to your about page. And this generates tasks for every page. And as you can see, I've got a few different flags coming up on my website. So it gives you around 30 to 50 steps that you can do. Um, the next step, why does SEO matter? This is seoguide.wix.com uh, and this is setting reasonable expectations for the power of organic search. So when users look for information on Google, they're shown two types of results, organic and paid. Um, so yeah, like it says here, you won't see results overnight. Um, this is not a, it's, it's a marathon, not a sprint, like I said at the beginning. So if we look at the percentage of clicks by search result ranking, you can see how if you're in the first page, you're getting about a third of the amount of clicks. That means that people click, they go back, click, they go back, they don't find the exact thing they want. But there are about 50 search results for the first page of Google and a third of those are clicked. That means if you get into this, the first page of Google, you will have a 30% chance of being clicked and that's only a third, that's not a lot. That's a lot, I mean, sorry. Um, paid advertising, we're not really gonna cover it too much because the key to SEO is, is patience rather than money. So yeah, improving your ranking will take time and you can't hack Google's algorithms and you can't make your site show up first for any given search phrase unless you pay for it. So SEO, there are three things that you need to absolutely hone down on and focus on. And the first thing is to optimize all your website pages your backlinks, your metadata, your tags, your keywords. And then what we can work on is blog posts. So writing blog posts once a week or once a month and then sending that out via newsletter, using lots of keywords, getting in that person's inbox, telling them hello, telling them you're still alive and active and kicking. Um, optimize your pages keywords, write that down. Optimize blog posts and schedule blog posts. Write that down. Use the same content from your blog posts. Repurpose those into social media posts. Okay? Group up the keywords and add it to the alt text. So the alternative text, the text that people with sight issues are there. That's what it's there for, is to help people with that can't read things, to help them. And also it helps in the ranking on Instagram. So, um, yeah, I want to say thank you for watching my video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I'm Creative Director. You can message me on Instagram at Creative Director, K-R-E-A-T-I-V-E-D-I-R-E-K-T-O-R. -E 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 thank you very much, guys, and I will see you later. I hope you learned something. Drop a comment on my Instagram and have a chat with me.